Hello, Jeffrey Schultz here again today. Today we will be uh, showing how to enter a deposit into QuickBooks Pro 2016. Again, I'm Jeffrey Schultz and I am the managing partner for Schultz & Associates CPA firm. I've been working with QuickBooks for over 20 years and helping clients use it as a great tool. So today we are going to um, use QuickBooks as if we were um, starting a brand new company and um, loaning the company its first dollars before we uh, receive any sales. So first thing I did was click on list and then chart of accounts and now we have the chart of accounts up. Now we're going to click on checking account which is the first one usually. Type of account is bank. We're going to double click on that and we'll bring up the register for the checking account. So then, uh, in this scenario, um, the payee is going to be myself, so Jeffrey, or payor in this case, Jeffrey Schultz. And it's going to ask me to set myself up, so I'm going to set myself up um, as an other in this case and say OK, just as a, and we're going to bypass filling in all the details at this point, so we'll just hit OK. And we can come back later and enter in any details we want to. And we're going to record a deposit of $10,000. And then I'm going to come over here to this little downward arrow and I can click on this and it will give me my full chart of accounts. Um, this could be uh, considered one of two things. It could be a capital contribution um, or a loan from the uh, member or shareholder. In this case, we're going to treat it as a uh, loan payable member. And hit enter, and it will say that account does not exist. So I'm going to click on set up, and up here it says uh, type of account, it defaults to expense, but as an accountant, I know that a loan payable would be a long-term liability. If you have questions regarding that, I'm sure your accountant can help you out with that as well. But uh, loans are generally considered to be liabilities, not expenses. So it's save and close, and now we have a new account. And now I can go down to the bottom right-hand corner and hit record. And I've now recorded my $10,000 loan to the company so I could begin operations. Uh, that concludes uh, today's tip for recording a deposit. Um, you can find out more about Schultz & Associates and uh, find other QuickBooks tips at www.schultz-cpa.com. Thank you.